Today we will be teaching you how to properly position your patient into a side lying position to drape them appropriately. You should start by of course washing your hands thoroughly for 30 seconds, as Dave has done already. Hi, my name is David. I'm a PT student. What's your name? Hi, my name is Megan. Megan, what's your last name? Strasser. And what's your date of birth? August 16th, 1991. Alright, looks good. Here we go to get started. I'm going to have you lay on your back first. When positioning your patient, be sure to avoid clothing or linen folds beneath the patient. Observe skin color over bony prominences before, during, and after treatment, and be sure to protect the bony prominence from excessive and prolonged pressure. You should also avoid positioning the patient's extremities beyond the support surface, and avoid ex excessive prolonged pressure on soft tissue, circuitry, and neurological structures. Also, use additional caution when positioning patients who are mentally incompetent or confused, comatose, elderly, paralyzed, or lacking normal circulation or sensation. And then one more between the knees, I think. Perfect. How do you feel right now? Oh, my ankle's a little uncomfortable. Your ankle? Let me grab a towel roll for that. Tuck the sheet now so we can get started on your treatment. Is that all right with you? Actually, I would prefer a um, women physical therapist if that's okay. Oh, sure, absolutely. We'll be right back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Draping is important because it provides modesty for the patient, it helps the patient maintain an appropriate body temperature, it provides access and exposure to areas to be treated while protecting other areas, and it protects the patient's skin or clothing from being soiled or damaged. I'm a PT student at UC, and I'm going to be uh, completing your treatment today. Hello. Okay. So I'm going to drape the sheet over you um, so you can expose the area on your back that will be receiving the treatment. 